Betelgeuse will disappear forever. Betelgeuse was already a very large star before it inflated into a red supergiant. These types of stars generally have much shorter lifespans than our sun, for example, which has already been around for 4.5 billion years and is expected to continue shining happily for another 4.5 billion years. Ever since we learned that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star at the end of its life, astronomers and space fans all over the world have been waiting for this once-in-a-century event. Witnessing a supernova live is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it is doubtful that we will see it. There are different opinions about when Betelgeuse will explode. The excitement was already great in 2019 when the red giant star showed a noticeable decrease in its brightness. Not only were global experts and star researchers in an uproar, but the press was also full of reports. Some newspapers reported signs of the coming supernova, and suddenly all eyes turned towards the constellation of Orion. Then came the official statements from the leading Betelgeuse experts who were of the opinion that Betelgeuse would become brighter rather than dimmer before the final end. The researchers were proved right. The anomalies in Betelgeuse's darkness continued into 2020 and then went down in the history of astronomy as the Great Dimming. In February 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness reached an all-time low. After intensive investigation, astronomers determined that the dimming was caused by a massive ejection of hot gas from the surface of Betelgeuse. The gas cooled, forming a dense carpet of dust particles that blocked the star's light for months, causing the observed decrease in brightness. In 2023, the astronomers suddenly recorded an increase in brightness, and again the question arose as to whether this unexpected change could be an indication that we would soon see the supernova. The astronomers waved it off. The vast majority of experts agree the sudden 50% increase in brightness does not indicate an imminent explosion but is a kind of aftereffect of the great dimming from 2019 to 2020. The large amount of dust and gas ejected during the dimming had disrupted the normal brightness cycles of Betelgeuse. Detailed investigations have shown that the anomaly took place within a long-known 400-day cycle during which Betelgeuse brightens drastically without being associated with an imminent explosion. The 2020 event shortened the normal 400-day cycle to around 200 days. This shortening meant Betelgeuse's increase in brightness not only occurred earlier but was also more intense than usual. Dying stars are both a drama and a stroke of luck. I bet you didn't know that our bodies and our Earth are made from the elements of dying stars. In addition to the history of our universe, researchers have also reconstructed the ways in which matter and elements were formed. This revealed that the first stars and their explosions played a significant role in the evolution of matter. In the beginning, the universe was rich in light elements. The first stars were therefore also very light supergiants with a very short lifespan. Within this short span of existence, the giant stars converted hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion, releasing enormous amounts of energy which made the stars shine. Eventually, when the supply of hydrogen ran out, they fused helium into heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. These processes eventually led to massive supernova explosions that scattered the heavy elements into space, contributing to the formation of new generations of stars. As these events continued, new generations of stars, planets, and finally us with our bodies were formed. The oxygen on our planet, the water, and the fertile soil on which we live were formed. To this day, enormous stars distribute their elements throughout the galaxy and the entire universe. At the end of their lives, when Betelgeuse explodes, millions of tons of material, dust, and gases are blown throughout the galaxy. New stars and planets are then formed from these elements in other places. So when Betelgeuse begins its final act, it will not completely perish. Large parts of its mass will be recycled. At the place where Betelgeuse once stood, a neutron star or a black hole will remain after its end. Despite these legacies, Betelgeuse will no longer be visible to us. Almost everyone who is interested in astronomy and space or constellations knows this star as an important part of the constellation Orion, the mythological hunter and fighter. With its distinctive sword, Orion is one of the best-known constellations in the night sky. Betelgeuse, in Orion's shoulder, has been a guiding star and the center of legends and myths for thousands of years. When it is gone, an era will disappear with it, and the constellation of Orion will no longer be the same. 
Only those who are superstitious or believe in the old legends believe that this will have any social impact on our planet. Even after the supernova explosion of Betelgeuse, our globe will very probably continue to rotate as normal. For our science, the ongoing dramatic changes on the surface of Betelgeuse and the valuable insights that follow are a real treat. Witnessing the final stages of the life of a massive star like Betelgeuse is a unique opportunity. In the last century, improved technologies have allowed researchers to observe some supernovae in distant galaxies. But here, in our own Milky Way, just 650 light years away from us, this event is once again of much greater interest to science. So Betelgeuse's fate is both a drama and a stroke of luck. At the same time, we will see it with the naked eye. One thing is already certain. Betelgeuse's dramatic finale will be visible to the naked eye from Earth. This offers a unique opportunity to experience the powerful explosion up close. The explosion cannot be that far away because Betelgeuse has already used up its hydrogen supply. When the hydrogen in its core ran out, the star began to fuse helium into heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. These fusion processes released enormous amounts of energy thousands of years ago, which kept the star stable and caused it to glow. Over time, the fusion processes became even more inefficient. Eventually, layers of different elements formed in Betelgeuse. Helium fused in the center to form carbon and oxygen while hydrogen was still fusing in the outer layers. The fusion of heavier elements slowly releases less and less energy, and the core will eventually collapse. The final collapse of the Betelgeuse nucleus is caused by gravitational force, which compresses the matter in the nucleus to such an extent that the electrons are pushed into the atomic nuclei. This will lead to a sudden increase in pressure and temperature, causing the nucleus to be torn apart in a massive explosion, which we then see as a supernova. During the explosion, huge amounts of energy are released, propelling the outer layers of the star into space at incredible speeds. These layers contain a large number of heavy elements that were created by the fusion processes inside the star. These elements are scattered into space and contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the event will shine so brightly that we will be able to see it in broad daylight for a few moments. It will be like a bright flash. Then, the remnants of the explosion will continue to shine brightly for several weeks to months. Betelgeuse will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky. The supernova will probably shine as brightly as the full moon for weeks. Now, you're probably wondering when this will happen. Well, the final explosion should be noticeable by a sudden increase in brightness within a few days. Betelgeuse will increase in brightness and then explode. So, if you regularly look towards Orion and a star shines brightly there, it could soon be time. Scientists say that the finale could come tomorrow or perhaps not for another 100,000 years. The first supernova observed on Earth, Kepler's supernova, was a rare event, and scientists have only recently become aware of this phenomenon in our own galaxy. It's estimated that a star explodes every 50 years, but we do not see many supernovae. The last supernova visible and documented from Earth was Supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small neighboring galaxy of the Milky Way. This supernova was discovered on February 24, 1987, and provided astronomers with a valuable opportunity to study in detail the physical processes and aftermath of a supernova explosion. Even further back in history, there was SN 1604, also known as Kepler's supernova. In 1604, the famous astronomer observed the apparent birth of a new celestial body in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer. This supernova was so bright that it was visible in the daytime sky for several weeks. Kepler was astonished to note in his diary that a star had been born that shone almost as brightly as the moon. Betelgeuse will vanish forever. Once a colossal star, Betelgeuse expanded into a red supergiant, a stage of stellar evolution with significantly shorter lifespans compared to our sun, which has endured for 4.5 billion years and is predicted to shine for another 4.5 billion. Since discovering that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant nearing the end of its life, Astronomers and space enthusiasts globally have eagerly awaited this rare celestial event. Witnessing a supernova is an unparalleled experience, but it's uncertain if we will observe it. Opinions vary on when Betelgeuse will explode, and the anticipation heightened in 2019 when the star's brightness notably diminished. 
the global scientific community and media were abuzz with reports as some suggested signs of an impending supernova, drawing attention to the constellation Orion. However, leading experts on Betelgeuse asserted that the star would likely brighten before its demise. They were correct, as Betelgeuse's dimming continued into 2020, becoming a historic event known as the Great Dimming. In February 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness plummeted to unprecedented lows. Astronomers determined that this was due to a massive expulsion of hot gas from the star's surface, which cooled and formed a dense dust cloud that obscured the star's light for months, causing the observed dimming. By 2023, astronomers noted a surprising increase in Betelgeuse's brightness, reigniting speculation about a forthcoming supernova. Despite the excitement, most experts agreed that the 50% increase in brightness was an aftereffect of the 2019 to 2020 dimming rather than an imminent explosion. The dust and gas ejected during the dimming disrupted Betelgeuse's regular brightness cycles. Studies revealed that this anomaly occurred within a known 400 day cycle of dramatic brightening, but the 2020 event shortened this cycle to approximately 200 days. This led to an earlier and more intense brightness increase than usual. The end stages of Betelgeuse's life are both dramatic and fortuitous. The elements that constitute our bodies and Earth originated from dying stars. Researchers have reconstructed the formation of matter and elements, showing that the first stars and their explosions played a crucial role in matter evolution. Initially, the universe was composed of light elements. The first stars were massive supergiants with short lifespans, converting hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion which released immense energy, making the stars shine. As hydrogen depleted, these stars fused helium into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, leading to supernova explosions that scattered these heavy elements across space, contributing to the formation of new generations of stars. As these events continued, new generations of stars, planets, and ultimately us with our bodies were formed. The oxygen on our planet, the water, and the fertile soil on which we live were formed. To this day, enormous stars continue to spread their elements throughout the galaxy and the entire universe. At the end of their lives, when Betelgeuse explodes, it will release millions of tons of material, dust, and gases into the galaxy, fostering the creation of new stars and planets. Despite its dramatic end, Betelgeuse will not disappear completely. Its mass will be recycled, and a neutron star or black hole will remain. Although Betelgeuse will no longer be visible, its legacy will endure. Known as a prominent star in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse has guided and inspired myths and legends for thousands of years. Its disappearance will mark the end of an era, altering the appearance of Orion. While some may believe this change has social implications, Earth's rotation and daily life will likely continue as usual. For science, the changes in Betelgeuse and the insights they provide are invaluable. Observing the final stages of a massive star like Betelgeuse is a rare opportunity. In the last century, improved technologies have enabled researchers to observe some supernovae in distant galaxies. But here, in our own Milky Way, just 650 light years away from us, this event is once again of much greater interest to science. So Betelgeuse's fate is both a drama and a stroke of luck. At the same time, we will see it with the naked eye. One thing is already certain. Betelgeuse's dramatic finale will be visible to the naked eye from Earth. This offers a unique opportunity to experience the powerful explosion up close. The explosion cannot be that far away because Betelgeuse has already used up its hydrogen supply. When the hydrogen in its core ran out, the star began to fuse helium into heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. These fusion processes released enormous amounts of energy thousands of years ago, which kept the star stable and caused it to glow. Over time, the fusion processes became even more inefficient. Eventually, layers of different elements formed in Betelgeuse. Helium fused in the center to form carbon and oxygen while hydrogen was still fusing in the outer layers. The fusion of heavier elements slowly releases less and less energy, and the core will eventually collapse. The final collapse of the Betelgeuse nucleus is caused by gravitational force, which compresses the matter in the nucleus to such an extent that the electrons are pushed into the atomic nuclei. This will lead to a sudden increase in pressure and temperature, causing the nucleus to be torn apart in a massive explosion, 
which we then see as a supernova. During the explosion, huge amounts of energy are released, propelling the outer layers of the star into space at incredible speeds. These layers contain a large number of heavy elements that were created by the fusion processes inside the star. These elements are scattered into space and contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the event will shine so brightly that we will be able to see it in broad daylight for a few moments. It will be like a bright flash. Then, the remnants of the explosion will continue to shine brightly for several weeks to months. Betelgeuse will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky. The supernova will probably shine as brightly as the full moon for weeks. Now, you're probably wondering when this will happen. Well, the final explosion should be noticeable by a sudden increase in brightness within a few days. Betelgeuse will increase in brightness and then explode. So, if you regularly look towards Orion and a star shines brightly there, it could soon be time. Scientists say that the finale could come tomorrow or perhaps not for another 100,000 years. The first supernova observed on Earth, Kepler's supernova, was a rare event, and scientists have only recently become aware of this phenomenon in our own galaxy. It's estimated that a star explodes every 50 years, but we do not see many supernovae. The last supernova visible and documented from Earth was supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud a small neighboring galaxy of the Milky Way. This supernova was discovered on February 24, 1987, and provided astronomers with a valuable opportunity to study in detail the physical processes and aftermath of a supernova explosion. Even further back in history, there was SN 1604, also known as Kepler's supernova. In 1604, the famous astronomer observed the apparent birth of a new celestial body in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer. This supernova was so bright that it was visible in the daytime sky for several weeks. Kepler was astonished to note in his diary that a star had been born that shone almost as brightly as the moon. Betelgeuse's supernova will not only be a breathtaking celestial event, but also a unique event in the history of science.